Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. Now, it's like, you know, from my own observation, it's like you're beginning to pay more attention to things that concern uh, the Catholic uh, women uh, organization now. I saw you the other day with the bishop, and, and I mean, what, what prompted that? Um, I don't know. Hmm. When I got married, my first few years of marriage, um, we were living very far in a very you know interior place and you know how it is in lagos when you're living so far you don't really want to go out to the mainland you don't want to do much and so i started focusing on you know going to church um it's not a matter of like giving myself to christ i mean i'm, I'm christ's daughter i'm jesus's daughter so um it was that i found a whole new life there and then i started you know working with them giving you know how they say it in church you give either your time your talent or your treasure as yeah. an actor i didn't have treasure to give you so i give my time and my talent <laughs> you know so i was giving my time and my talent and i kept on being being invited to a lot of the events and i had to be the one to carry the microphone and speak you know then um i started growing from there growing from there i became um vice president of the women cwo that's catholic women organization um I, I was also vice president of the laity that's all the lay people in that particular church parish and and then i started growing from there i became the pro of the archdiocese pro of the cw of the archdiocese that is of the whole of lagos and since then it's been six seven so many years i've been doing that you know and i have enjoyed every minute of it i have loved it it's not just giving my time and talent uh, to god it's also you know gaining something from it and enjoying doing it so i enjoy doing it it doesn't change who i am because um it's i've always been me i don't have any vices i need to hide um i don't have any issues i need to hide away from the church and the church is for sinners like me to change people like me. <laughs> I like that. I like yeah. that one. I like that. All right. So, what, what are the other new things you know that are happening in your life? So many new things are happening in my life. So, so many new things happening in my life. Can you um, share stuff with us? No, I can't. You know, they say when you, before you do, you knock on wood. Cock, 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 cock. No, but you all will get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> now you, you you attended the Methodist uh, Girls High School in Yaba. What fond memories of your days back then do you still remember? I still I still remember. In fact, we have this alumni where we remind ourselves occasionally of things that have happened or that happened. I remember um, uh, so many things that happened in that school. Uh, I was a tomboy, I was troublesome, I got into a lot of trouble, but not those kind of troubles that girls get into these days. So. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a good, it, it, it was half boarding and I was a day student, and so I was going home every day, and um, we had a clique of friends, uh, We still, I still have those friends still today, um, basically it was a normal you know life for a young girl 
And remember, it was an all girls school. You know, I remember lots of things about a lot of my teachers. I hated maths. I still hate maths till today. And I think that must have been because of form three. Third year in in secondary school, my maths teacher was not friendly. So I think that was the issue. <laughs> but basically, that's it. That's it. That's it. Interesting. Now, afterwards, you left for the United uh, States of America. You left for Dallas to be specific. What did you study in school over there? I studied mass communication. Okay. I studied mass communication there. And um, uh, I, was, I had this flair for writing. I was focusing more on journalism. And that was why, you know, when my dad insisted I come back, I, I went and started working with Daily Times. And Daily Times looked at my credentials and said, ah, you never studied journalism finish now. It's mass communication you study. So go back and do journalism. Go to go and do two years. And so I went to do two years at the Nigerian Institute of Journalism. Then I was working with um, Daily Times under Onye Maugutruku. And um, as I was writing feature stories with them, I was also um, um, co-energy correspondent. And um, yes, I knew how to write, but I didn't know how to do interviews and reports and all of that. And so I went to the school. And I, so I was going to the school and working at the same time. Yeah. I had people like Lola Olakunri, um, Eniola Olakunri. I had Saj. I had lots of people at my end at that time. Yeah. Interesting. Kuli Bakari. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Now, so what fond memories of your days in school back then in uh, Dallas do you still remember? Hey. Hey, uh, not many. Not many. Uh, basically because... I, I I had major fear of everything. I think my father put the fear of God in me. <laughs> I didn't get into those kinds of troubles that um, a lot of people would get into. Yeah, because yeah. I always had at the back of my mind, when I was leaving, my dad warned me. He warned me seriously. And the warning was always stuck in my head. And those days, you know, when we were much younger, we had more fear. Or like now. We didn't, I didn't, I wasn't that kind of person who wanted to explore, you know. I saw so much. I saw a lot. Even in the school bus going home, I saw a lot. We had the school bus, you know, that would take all, all of us to a particular area and drop each and every one of us close to our houses, not, not the normal secondary school, school bus. And even inside the bus, I saw things that... <sighs> Horrible things. Yeah. Where well, they were, <laughs> you know, because that was I wasn't used to that. You know, all girls school we didn't have all that kind of thing. This one, it was boys and girls inside the vehicle at the back of the vehicle. They were doing all kinds of things. Uh, I think that stuck in my head more than anything else. I couldn't understand it. Interesting. <laughs> now, the original Gloria Anozie was in quotes from a home in uh Omaha, Abia North, local government area of Abia State. Now she is married to a man from Delta State. How often do you still visit your do you still visit Abia State, your village? When was the last time I, you, you visited there? Actually I do I do visit a lot. I was there last year. I was there in twenty twenty. My dad who used to live in Lagos has gone back home. So I don't have a choice. I must go as often as I can. Um, I was there, there last year. Um, my dad fell down and hurt his hand, broke his his hand. And so um, I had to send, as a first daughter, I had to keep sending you know, members of my family to please go and check until I got the chance to go myself. My baby sister went and spent some time on my behalf. Then I had to go. And I spent a few days also, maybe about two weeks or so, um afterwards i also went again to see him there was a time we went for christmas uh, because it was my dad's birthday so i go as often as possible interesting uh, I go as often as possible interesting now you are in the same profession you know with your husband would you consider it a plus or a minus uh it's a plus so you yeah. know why it's a plus yes I could go for two weeks, 
he would understand. He could go for three weeks. I would understand. I would, I would, the house will keep running. The home will keep running. Apart from um, us understanding our profession and being able to handle the home front when the other person is not there, we work on our, our work together. If I have a difficult script, a difficult character rule, he helps me understand it. Um, and then I help him with his lines because he's a thespian. I don't need to help him with his character. He already gets to understand his character. Sometimes I wonder how he does that. But um, I help him with his lines. Yeah, is anybody okay? <laughs> I help him with his lines and uh, we work on it together. And then we watch each other's movies. Um, if, if my movie is out, I get to tell him, oh, let's go see it or it's on television and then we watch it together then he says you didn't do it well you did it like this you didn't do this you didn't do that you should have done this or ah you did well and the, the times he tells me i i did well i'm always very happy <laughs> <laughs> i like that i like that now obviously you know god has been largely nice to you good to you what more do you want from god I don't know. What more do I want from God? To live long. I want to be able to see my grandchildren. I only have one child, so I want to see her grow. That's all I want from God. <laughs> and he's doing it too. <laughs> I don't feel my age at all. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> now, I, 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 need, I need us to, to look at Nollywood as a whole. You know, considering how it started and where it it is currently. What is your take on that? Nollywood is growing in leaps and bounds. It, it is growing. Despite what people think, Nollywood is growing. Um, and especially now that we have different forms of social media. Everyone is showcasing themselves. Everyone is looking for a way to get into it. Um, there's more of the glamour now than... Um, the work, the work is there, but they make the work look so easy, and so it attracts more people. Um, in terms of um, association and unity, uh, we do have a lot to to do there. We we have some work to do there, but Nollywood itself is growing, and I think they're trying. They're doing a good job. Um, we have lots more producers. We have younger people coming in. We have more female directors. And that is something to really, 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 you know, clap for, you know. I'm very interested in that. Very, very interested in that. Oh, all right. H have you got any regrets? None that I want to make public, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. So why don't you want to make it public? Eh, hey, so that they don't laugh at me, now. Come on. <laughs> but they, they are not your god. I'll be your god. Not your god. <laughs> no, I, 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 um, I don't have any regrets. You know why? Um, I don't have any regrets that wake me up in the middle of the night, you know? My regrets are probably ephemeral things, nothing too serious. Um, basically because I have internalized God so well that, in fact, I don't even know when I do it. It's, it's an unconscious thing for me now. I just keep giving thanks because I do have a wonderful life. I do have a beautiful life. I have a wonderful husband and a wonderful daughter. What more can I ask for? I mean, there's some people who don't even have that. You know, not that I'm saying that I don't deserve more. Hey, everybody deserves more. But I am grateful. I am. What, 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 what's her daughter's name? She likes to be called Chantel, but her name is Chantel. Antonia Chantel Young. Interesting. Interesting. Now, what's your philosophy of life? Live and let live. Okay. Just live. Just live. Stop trying to change people. Let them change for themselves. 
don't force yourself on anyone. Don't don't force your ideas, your opinion on people. Express yourself and let it be. Live and let live. But live, live. Don't just exist. Live. Live for yourself. Now, who is your closest friend? And what does friendship mean to you? Mm, friendship. You know, this topic, we talked about this topic amongst me, uh, my friends and I, a few days ago. A friend is one you can tell your deepest secrets to. A friend is one who you feel that you can um, be free with. Not have any airs. Not feel embarrassed. If you fall down, she's ready. He's ready to lift you up. Straighten your crown. All of that. That is a friend. A friend is one who will not hide their feelings to you and do not expect you to hide theirs to them. And my closest friend is actually my husband. We are friends. Yeah, we are. We are. We're friends like first you. before anything else. Um, we're actually wonderful friends. We talk a lot. We express ourselves. Um, it's not a matter of uh, because he's my husband. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags, fruit, sir. If I do have an opinion, I'm able to express it. And he's also able to tell me, you know, his own thoughts on anything, on everything. I get to hear his thoughts. Yeah. Interesting. So away from work, how do you keep yourself busy? How do you relax? What are the things you do in your spare moments or when you have a spare time? I watch TV. I read novels. Uh, my phone battery dies a lot because I've discovered this e-library that I'm always going into go and be pressing one story, one story or the other. Um, I read thriller novels uh, in my spare time. I also sew. I make throw pillows and stuff. Okay, can you see one? This is one. Okay. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. 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 Yes. I can see it. And that was during the lockdown. So during the lockdown, when I had some time, I would sit in front of the TV and I'm busy with my fingers. Oh, I'm busy sewing away. You know, I bake in my spare time. Um, and my husband says, Madam, cake, bake, cake, 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 cake. Today, everywhere, the house is smelling of sugar, 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 sugar. That kind of thing. <laughs> you know, and uh, everyone enjoys that in the house. Basically, uh, I sing to myself a lot. <laughs> uh, I, I really have very, very little free time. Very little. Because okay. I'm always busy doing one thing or the other. Yeah. All right. Now, to the young ones, you know, who are interested in acting, who are interested in showbiz, what would be your advice to them? Don't think that if you're coming, you're coming into the acting industry that you're going to have it easy. You're not. You're expected to work. Um, there's this saying, you're as good as your last job. Um, I got confused about that recently when I got the award for Glamour Girls. Um, because it made me wonder if other, others I have done were not so good. I also got a best of Hollywood award. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it, but I saw all the photographs. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And, and, and you know, um, they need to understand that it's not all glamour. I get to hear a lot of people call me, get on my Facebook messenger, especially Instagram DM. I want to act. I want you to help me act. I, I think I can act. Um, I'm a beautiful girl. They start with, I am beautiful. And you try and tell them that drama is life. We need ugly people. We need people who are willing to come and play one eye, one leg. All of that. If you have the one leg, bring it on. Just understand that it is life and you have to come to work. Not come to come and play, you know, glamour and get paid for it. Um, I've also heard stories of how some people now pay some producers to feature them in movies. And I've had to, you know, tutor a lot of young ones. Please don't try that. Don't ever do it. Because then that means you, you don't understand what it is you are giving, you are bringing to the table. If you are bringing something to the table, 
um, you get you should understand that that is unquantifiable. You cannot calculate that worth of what you're bringing to the table. So don't pay people to feature you. It's totally wrong. Um, those are the things I would tell any young one coming into the industry. And the young people coming into the industry who are already here, they're doing a wonderful job. I see I see some professionalism. I see them really working at it. They're in a hurry. I see that too. Uh, you haven't started. You haven't really got into the acting thing. You started producing. You want to direct. You want to you know, focus. Focus on the craft of acting first. If you want to be known as an actor, focus on that. Hone the skill of acting first before you jump into producing. Because you can't come and say, I'm producing this movie and I'm acting it. I'm playing the lead at the same time. Something has to give. So that means something will drop at the end of the day. So that's my advice. That's my advice to you. Interesting. I'll take the final question so that I can free you. What would be your, I mean, your parting shots, your fans? What would you like to say to them? Those who still love and uh, admire and follow Gloria and Jose Young. Um, I'd like to say to them, uh, I really appreciate them a lot. Um, I don't take it for granted. I'm happy that um, they still see me worth you know, their love uh, and affection. And um, I'll try not to do any wrong. But at the same time, I will say they should give us a bit of a slack. People should stop thinking that because you're in Nollywood means you're earning millions of Naira. By the way, I read that I'm earning... Mm, Wikipedia now, wow. 67 something million. I was like, hey, eh? me? Where? How? <laughs> you know, I'm not earning that much money. And um, we're in it for the love of it. Um, yes, we do get paid quite well compared to before. And we will get there. And um, cut us some slack. Be a little more patient with us, especially with the movies churning up now. Because new people are coming in and trying to express themselves and trying to learn. And that's what we are. There is nobody who is totally perfect. Apart from Jesus Christ, every other person is a work in progress. And so that's, that's what, true. you know, you should be a little more patient with us. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been so nice talking to you after a very long while. I remember... The last interview I did with you when you were still living in Ojodu back then, you know, you were yes. still in You came to make me talk. <laughs> as you, I did not want to talk. As you and a, a very, very long time. Thank you very much. So nice to hook up with you again. Thank you. Thank you. Now, make sure you follow our YouTube channel. It's the Yes NG TV. T H E. Y E S N G T V for the best interviews, for the best interviews, and for the best uh, stories. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. me. Bye, thank everyone. You. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.